this week we are flooded with requests and thank you for sending all the requests and I know I say it every week but it is just you that make this program a success if um, you guys don't ask for shares to be analyzed um, of course then there's no show um, so it's nice to serve the community and especially the technical community there's a lot of traders and a lot of investors that like technical analysis, but I would like to kick off with a friend of mine, old Martin, he's been watching the show for so many years, but he never sends in a request, but this week he said, Franz, can you please maybe do me a favor and look at EOH, well, he's looking to buy EOH, and if I look at EOH here, Martin, uh, first thing is, is this beautiful, massive dragonfly doji, it's, it's a rare occurrence that you see a candle like that, I mean, look at this massive lower shadow, a classic tiny little doji there right in the middle, and then you've got this upper shadow there, but um, what's interesting to me, it's that if you look at the low of this candle, that low is 602, and the low of that other day's red ugly candle, 601, and that tells me immediately, if we see two candles like this, both so close to that 6 rand level, that means that there is some investors that would like the level of six rand. And that's the important thing. Although we're seeing here a shaven bottom candle, that is negative. But as I said so many a time on the show, that always look to the seeding candles and then you get your clue from there. Because what we've seen here, apart from this dragonfly doji that we're seeing here, is look at this. For the last couple of days, every time that the, the share goes down, you see these lower shadows developing that tells me that there was some buyers buying into weakness. So when the share was under pressure, there were some guys that bought it. But well, what happened then on Tuesday, and remember this is it's Tuesday's night candle, this beautiful hammer tells me that some guys already said, listen, six rand is our level to protect, and what do I see here? I'm looking at something else here. I say to myself, let's first look at this resistance line. And you will see that I, I take it through those few candles to get some, some more points. That's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight points where it crossed. And then I'm going to use another one here. And there you are. I'm going to draw in that line. And what do we see? We see a beautiful descending channel and that tells me this can easily turn into a positive formation if and that's the big thing if EOH can break above 667 now I know some guys will preempt it as well and the reason why they will preempt it is simple because they see the low there they see the low there they say well they support it around six rand and if they see the hammer they say some guys say it's hitting out the lows and where will they start to buy right at the top of that little upper shadow there, and that will be at 6 Rand 40. They will start to nibble on the share, and where's the stop loss? Of course, the 6 Rand level. That's quite important if you want to preempt a position, and I never do that. I don't like that to do that, especially on a share. On the index, it's a different story if it's overbought or oversold, but with a share, it's sometimes not that easy to do that or not that clever to do that. Then they will stick to this tight, tight stop loss, and I've learned also something over the years. Sometimes what you find is if your stop loss is 6 Rand, maybe just be not that harsh onto yourself. Maybe put the stop loss at 5.95 just to give you a little bit of a breather because sometimes it just drops below that level and then it turns up. But where is this formation coming to play? Above 6.60, as we said, it will come into play and it can take the share all the way beautiful up that high and that will be at 7 Rand 50. So Martin, I hope that assisted you. Well, let's look at Kumba. Donny wants to know Kumba, Kumba for the long term. He's quite keen on the share. He believes that the commodity stock still has some, some, um, some momentum to the top and that he, he would like to be invested in Kumba. Let's have a look here. Well, if we look at this, thing here is Kumba, beautiful, strong move to the upside. And what do we see here? We see what I don't like here is like I'm seeing a megaphone formation. Just want to draw in that line. There you are. There's the upper band. There you are, 
there's the lower band. What do we know about a megaphone? A megaphone usually sends mixed signals. And the big thing with a megaphone formation is, if it breaks above this level of 7036, remember this is a weekly chart, because he wanted to know about a long-term view on Kumba. If it breaks above this resistance line here, it can easily go all the way up to, can you believe it, 857. That's for a share that's been under huge pressure many years ago. But for me personally, I'm always a little bit nervous on a megaphone formation. Where will be my first sign of weakness? It's quite easy. I will use this. And there, that's little support line there. I just want to draw it in there. There you are. That little support there, that will be my first sign of weakness. 635.38. Um, but in the meantime, I think hold on to it. I will not buy it. I think it may be a little bit late to buy. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the company, and I'm sure they're going to pay another brilliant dividend. Let's have a look at Jacques' question. He's looking at Harmony. Let's have a look at Harmony. It's a gold mining company. I've seen quite a few requests this week on Pan African as well, but I'm going just to go and do Harmony. Otherwise, I'll just do some gold shares this week. If you look at Harmony here, first of all, look at this ugly selling that took place. And we pointed out the share of a week or two ago and said, listen, there's maybe a little bit of an opportunity here for a relief bounce. Because, I mean, this selling was a little bit, maybe just a bit too harsh. But what I like about this chart, just have a look here. It bounced off here, of that low, and that low was at 51 rand and 38 cents. What do we see from there? From there, we see a low, a higher low, a higher low. These three, four candles here worries me a little bit. Look at it. Every time that it gets to the 60 rand, 70 cents level, it looks like there's some sellers around here. So, um, Jacques, I think the best is if you did not buy Harmony, if you didn't believe that it's going to go up here right at the bottom when it broke this resistance line, turned it into a support. I will rather wait for the following. I will wait for this to turn into a support. And there you are. There you are. And here you've got three beautiful candles that warns the view. Well, that's every time it's around, let's call it that 60 Rand 70 level. The moment it breaks above the 60, 70 Rand level, what will we see? We see we will see a new higher high, higher high, and then it can push it up higher. But there's something else on this chart that's very interesting. Let's just zoom it out a little bit. There's a little gap. That's maybe our first target that we can reach for if it breaks above this level. And that will be between 62 Rand 62 cents and 62 Rand 83 cents. Well, I know it's, it's just a, a tiny move. That's about a 5% move. So that's why I say maybe already a little bit late to buy it. What I like about it, the chart looks nice. And I'm quite happy to look at the chart for you. Well, let's quickly see. Let's do that that other one, Pan F. <laughs> I'm thinking about it now, and, and let's just do it. Uh, nothing wrong to do a request. Let's have a look. Pan F. Let's just draw it in there. There you are. Oh, this is an interesting chart. Well, where Harmony already started to move a little bit higher, this is something different. This chart actually tells you that it's still under selling pressure. And what do I see here? In actual fact, there's quite a few. I didn't show it on Harmony. But a lot of these gold shares got this ugly head and shoulder formation patterns. Look there, left shoulder, the head, and the right shoulder. And if that plays out, can you believe it? It can go all the way down to 264. That almost sounds unrealistic. But big thing here, we've seen this ugly sell-off. And what did we see <clears throat> on this little candle here? That tells me there was a, maybe a few buyers here. It's a Harami candle. And look what you see here. It's at the upper end of this ugly bearish candle. Now, usually that tells me that there's some buyers because what did they do? They didn't buy here right at the bottom. Yes, they pushed the price up. When it opened, and where did the share open? The share opened at 320. They managed to close it at 325. But what they tell us is the long lower shadow to the bottom, that's 309. They supported that level of 3 rand. So although that head and shoulder formation worries me, 
I will say, if you really want to take a chance here, I think use this little line. I just want to draw it in there. Or draw it in there. There you are. And it will probably, there's the place to break up. It will go higher, above 334. It will turn this into a support line, buy above 334. And then make use of a stop loss of 309, just to protect your capital there. Because I'm a little bit worried about that head, head and shoulder. And what it tells me, is that the gold shares does not believe the gold price at the moment and maybe also does not believe the weaker rand. So that's quite interesting. So unless we don't see a stronger gold price above 1822, we're just below the 200-day moving average and we see a strengthening rand, but I believe if the rand can get to 1467, 1470, we'll see some of these gold shares suddenly turn around and move higher. Let's quickly see if we can fit in PPC. Because we're almost out of time here. Just quickly, we'll, we'll look at PPC. Let's give it a chance to put it in for us there. Here you are. It's sold off. Uh, we showed it previously on a show here. There you are. Uh, these are tops there. It's still negative here. It's not a proper um, return of a reversal candle. I will only look at the share above uh, 3.55. O 355 will not touch it because it can actually go lower. If you want to buy it, make use of a stop loss of 337 and your target to the top will be 377 and maybe back to that 395 level. Well, thank you for watching the show. We're out of time. Visit our website www.franseclair.com for more info on shares.